G'day guys, welcome to G-Man Speaks. Today I'm taking a look at a video called Why I Stopped Listening to the Red Pill by Chang Nation. Go check him out, uh, like, sub, all that sort of stuff over there. Uh, I'm going to be commenting on his video. So essentially this is a follow-up video um, for him that I covered as well. Uh, he had a video release called Why My Girlfriend Broke Up With Me. Um, and so this is a follow-up to that based on maybe some of the feedback that he'd gotten and some of the rationale as to why he doesn't like the red pill uh, anymore. She wants kids, she just doesn't want your kids. I think that was one of the comments that appeared on my video where I talked about my recent breakup. And this specific guy, I'm pretty sure is a longtime subscriber, so I don't really fault him for that. I feel like his intentions were good. But I did see a lot of comments in general talking about how my ex-girlfriend wanted kids, but just didn't want my kids. And you know, it was coming from like the black pill lens of girls just wanna like optimize their you know, partner or whatever. And the reason that she didn't want my kids was because I'm not good enough for whatever reason. I know, and that's a that's a really bitter pill and hard pill to swallow. And sure, she is saying to him that she doesn't uh, want to have children. Um, uh, that, that was one of the key reasons why they split up. I think she was about 30 years old. He never said how old she was, but he's around 29. So maybe she's around the same sort of age. And she's a professional uh, woman. And yes, some people just don't want to have kids at all. There's nothing wrong with that. I'd have no kids. Um, but generally, when women do say it... Uh, they either a don't mean it. They haven't thought through life properly. They may still be chasing uh, the career, uh, chasing the job. A lot of women get to around thirty-ish, early thirties, thirty-five, and they start not getting fulfilled by careers. They've realised they've been sold a bit of a, you know, a pipe dream because working for a big company, yeah, cool, cool, we can make some good money. But at the end of the day, you're just another cog on the wheel. And they start realising that, and they want more from life. They want some more. Um, meaning out of life and they start rethinking all the things they said about not having kids etc i've seen it happen uh, on several occasions guys i work still work in corporate australia uh, and come across these people regularly and have seen this exact thing play out but it's not a nice thing to be told if it is true it might not be true with this woman but yes generally when a woman break up with you and they say that i want kids and they break up with you around 30 years old she's realized you're not going to be the guy for her Okay, she's running out of time. She needs to find someone better, and there is a lead time right for that. You're not going to find it instantly. Yes, some women do believe they'll find another guy instantly and uh, another better upgrade straight away. But there's a lead time to be get to kids, marriage, all that sort of stuff. So he's had a pill pushed into his mouth. He's he, he spat it out. All right, and that's actually something I wanted to talk about, just because you know I talked about some of the reasons why. We broke up, but there was a lot of details I left out just because I believe it's better to keep some things private. The internet's a ruthless place. I feel like people are quick to make assumptions and judgments. Very true. And what I realized is a lot of guys just have these beliefs, right, about modern day women. Some call it red pill, some call it black pill, or a mixture of both. But posting this video kind of made me realize that, you know, my perspective about the topic, like the red pill, black pill stuff, changed a lot from my past relationship. And I just wanted to talk about that. Before I dive into things, just wanted to give a quick shout out to everyone who reached out to me. I think I got like 10 to 15 guys reach out to me via like text message, DMs, um, you know, guys who I've coached for online fitness coaching or came to my retreat. Just super supportive overall. So really grateful for um, everyone that did so. And there's a ton yeah, of- and as I said, it's, it's- it's not about twisting a knife in the wound. Breakups are hard and men take uh, breakups very differently to women. They generally, um, they hang around for a lot longer, men, especially if they're really into the woman. And I think this guy's hurting uh, quite a bit. He seems like a nice, a nice, genuine sort of guy. So this, this video isn't about him per se. It's about guys who look at the red pill as the be all and end all or the black pill and everything that is said that is deemed red pill or black pill is true because I do have thoughts on the red pill as well. Okay, so I'll give you my views straight away. Um, is I think overall uh, I don't see red pill as these hard and fast rules. Okay, I think the red pill, if used correctly uh, and applied correctly, it's more or less a philosophy built upon the experiences, uh, hardships, successes even of men with women 
Now, there are uh, some bad actors in the space that are very fanatical, uh, very extreme, and he does mention a few people in his video, okay? I think the red pill is a guide. It's not a, a set of rules to follow your life by, because I do, I will say, and I have critiqued it in the past, that some of the red pill talking points are bullshit. And that's why, as someone who was watching some of that content in the past, I just couldn't resonate with it. And that's why I wanted to create my own take and channel based on my own lived experiences in life. And as this guy said, everyone's views on the world are based on their experiences. So black guy, black pill guys are going to be really black pill because they've had some bad experiences. Red pill guys, you know, the fanatical red pill guys are going to be, you know, super into that because they've had really bad experiences with women and a lot of the points resonate with them. I'd like positive and supportive comments on that video. I don't mean to make it seem like all the comments were negative. I just wanted to um, make a video today talking about the negative ones, just because a lot of content on dating nowadays, especially coming from guys perspective is pretty negative, especially the red pill stuff. This is stuff I used to believe in, to be honest, uh, especially after my previous relationship, not this one, but the one from college, I felt like that girl definitely exhibited more of the negative traits and behaviors of like modern women, 304s, whatever you want to call them. But needless to say, that's not every woman, right? Exactly. It's kind of like the same thing as like stereotypes. You could say like- Yeah, like, so I think this guy is, was probably a hard liner, red pill guy. Every woman's like that. You know, there's all this Naywalt crap and Awalt crap and all that. I don't believe in that, okay? Not all women are like that, but majority of women have the ability to be like that. Not all of them do it. They're not all evil, okay? The red pill is just understanding how and what women are capable of, looking and learning from the uh, experiences and hardships of men. Okay, some men have, go through life not experiencing any of this stuff, you know, live in, uh, you know, have a really good run. So they're not going to understand what the red pill is. The red pill is just a body of knowledge for application. Pick out what you want and what works for you. You don't have to apply the whole thing. You don't have to listen to all the talking points and agree with everything. There are probably things I say guys don't agree with, okay? Because there are definitely other channels, things that people say that I'm just like, that's rubbish, okay? Because based on your experience and critical thinking. So guys, Red Pill, I think it's good. The, the, the way I look at the Red Pill, it's like, and that's how I've tried to make this channel. I wouldn't say, look, this has Red Pill elements, my channel. Uh, but I would say this is a body of work for men. It's like an online Bible. It's an online culmination of information on different topics, like a big book, all right? A big book uh, that men can go through and have a look in and, and hear the experience of other men on certain topics. That's that's how I like to, to, to see the red pill, okay? It's not a fanatical religion, and some people do take it a bit too far. Like, oh, Asians never tip, or... You know, Indians are hella cheap. If you're in a dark alleyway, you know, there's, <laughs> you don't want to run into a certain type of race, right? It's like, there's plenty of like stereotypes you can make in general with like race, right? But the truth is like, there are plenty of people that defy stereotypes. I think, you know, even in the context of like, uh, being an Asian guy, some people think that like, Asian guys are nerdy and weak, but clearly, you know, I defy those stereotypes. Now we can get into a deeper discussion about stereotypes and the formation of them just because the example I just gave about Asian guys being effeminate, there's a deeper rooted cause, especially in the US, which is uh, driven by like propaganda, mainstream media, all that stuff. So I don't want to dive into that. But I do feel like with uh, the red pill, it um, comes from a really angry place. I mean, the, the way that people discover the red pill is they get like dumped or there's some very traumatic experience with a girl that the guy likes. And then they essentially just like swallow the red pill in the truth of women's nature, right? Like their true nature. I would say that is a very true assessment. I was to be fully honest, I started looking for answers about the, you know, about what happened and why I got broken up with and, and why I went through a divorce. And it led me to uh, the red pill. I wouldn't say it came from a place of anger. I wanted to learn. I wanted to be better. I wanted to know what happened. Okay. Like I wanted to diagnose the situation, and yes, there are going to be men that are like, go to the dark side of the force. All right? You're, you've become a Sith Lord. You're angry. Something's happened to you, and you 
follow the red pill like like fanatically. So yes, there is anger there because why is there anger and why are men angry? Because when the when men truly start to understand and unpick what women are capable of and the damage they can do to men, because we're not taught this stuff. Okay, that's just the reality. I don't think fanatical is red pill. I don't think red pill is overly fanatical. It's learning about stuff that we're never taught about. That women can wreck your life in divorces or 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 they cheat or they do all sorts of things that we're not led to believe as men growing up. Where women are um, you know, they're idealized. Okay. And we as men idealize them as angelic and pure beings. And really they're no different than men, okay? Just the way they think and the things that they do and are capable of. But there's this myth around A, what women are. B, what men are going to get out of relations with women if you do all the right things. And I could go on, guys. I could really go on. But I think that's really the gist of why men come to Red Pill. Yes, they're going to be angry guys who, um, who who can't get a girlfriend or they've been put in a friend zone and they're very upset and they're, you know, they're, they want to see negative content to feed their negative view on the world. Now, guys... I don't believe my content is overly negative. Hey, you can put it in. I like to say the truth. I don't think I've ever said anything that is outrageous and not true and able to be validated, okay? But yes, there are a lot of hardcore red pill channels that do borderline on nonsense. I think he's going to get to those too. And then all of these things such as all women are like that or it's only your turn, yep. you know, basically like sweeping statements about women come to fruition and then the whole thing just is like an echo chamber of like angry guys you know saying these things and acting a certain way thinking that they're acting more high value and then in turn they see like small examples or a few examples of you know oh all women are like that and then they generalize to the whole female population right see this guy is trying to make out and i understand he's spitting it out he doesn't like it he doesn't like the way it makes him feel it makes him feel sick it makes him uh feel lied to and cheated i guys i can tell you i've womanized for like 15 years flat i can tell you i've seen the worst of him i'll never look at him the same again do all of them act that way no but a high population just do things that are unthinkable and unspeakable to guys who live in this world who live in the plugged in world okay this guy was never truly the red pill because the way you learn about the red pill is through trials and tribulations. And I think he's too young. He's too young to really understand what the red pill is. It isn't about, he, he's calling the red pill. Yeah, he, he's classing it as those dickheads. Um, I'm not going to say names, but channels where go, I'm an alpha and you're a beta and I'm high value. I'm a high value man because I think I am now. And I'm an alpha because I think I am now. And men don't ever do this. And men don't ever do that. And rah, 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 rah. It's almost like um, the male version of fanatical womanism. Yeah, I agree with him. And that's the stuff that young teenage boys and, and, and young men in their early 20s watch. You know, you're an alpha dog if you've got a cigar and you've you got a nice car and a suit. And that makes you red pill. No, it makes you superficial, okay? It makes you... That's not what a red pill man is. A, man, a red pill man is just aware. He's not angry. He knows what can happen through his own experiences. That's another thing about the red pill um, that I've learned. Okay, the thing about the red pill is you, you you can't red pill anybody. Okay, people come to the space or come to learn about these things. I want to know more, but they've got to do it voluntarily. You can never red pill a guy. This guy's spitting it out. You couldn't argue anything with him. He would play it all down as you just had a bad run, you had bad luck. Okay, but he's spitting the pill out. Yeah, his girlfriend, uh, he's he's hurting, right? He's in denial. But yeah, his girlfriend has just dumped him after I think it was three years. Um, he's upset about it, and he's trying to say that uh, the red pill doesn't exist. The red pill is just angry guys, and he doesn't want to be an angry guy. But the reality is, it's one of the red pill talking points. Is she's why did she break up with him? She never gave him a reason. Okay, I think the reason he said it was they. She said that. She didn't want to break up, but she had to or something. She's looking for a different option. It's just the reality of it. I know it hurts. But guys, you need to understand that even women you're with are going to be swayed by someone who is perceived as a better option than you. It might not be all women, but women are going to look at that. It's in their nature for the best deal. 
it is, I think that's probably one of the hardest things to swallow that you got dumped because you weren't, you didn't make the cut in her eyes. It's, it, it is a very emasculating thing to admit. Uh, it's confronting because you had this girlfriend for three years and, or you had this wife and all of a sudden she's dumped you. You don't want to think that she's out looking for a better guy than you or has already found someone in the wings, okay? But it's what happens out there. All right, guys, about halfway through. If you're enjoying the content, please sub to the channel. This is a bit of a monologue here, and I'm trying to articulate this unscripted. So, guys, happy to hear your thoughts in the comments. But please sub to the channel, aiming for 10K subs. And if you want to really support me, guys, either check out my Patreon in the video description or just watch my videos through um, as, as long as you can because that's what gets me out there. Like, comment, all that other bullshit that all the other YouTubers say. But it does help. And trust me, guys, I used to have that mindset, to be honest. But then I dated my ex-girlfriend. And, you know, this was probably my longest relationship, my most serious relationship. She made me realize that not all women are like that since, uh, trust me, she knew about my YouTube channel. I remember like when we first started dating, I was more into covering red pill, black pill topics. Uh, that was when I did like the podcast with wheat waffles and, um, yeah, but the thing is, see, that's the thing about the red pill content. It's, it's a body of young, this guy's 29. He's a young man. Okay. And wheat waffles. I don't know, he'd be like 20. Or, I don't know how old that dude is, but he's a young boy. You haven't experienced this shit, okay? You can say, well, you didn't get a girlfriend or you couldn't get dates off dating apps that you're red-pilled and all this. A true red-pilling comes when you go through a divorce court or when you are, out, if you are able to womanize and you're the guy that is banging married chicks and you know they're going home and kissing their kids and seeing their husbands and lying and the guy never knows. Or you're the guy when they've slept with you and you're lying in bed and they're bagging out all the other guys they're dating and using up for dates. Like, you got to experience it. So you can sit there and say it's all negative. You don't want to know about it because it's uncomfortable. But I've done all these things. You need to experience things in life. It's like my friend Larry, great guy. He, he, he's like this dude. He, he had the bread pill put into his mouth. He watched a lot of these videos and stuff, but he can't accept it. And he spits it out and he challenges a lot of the talking points all the time. And that's fine. Like, I don't try and repeal him. But he says this stuff to me and talks to me about it. You can't help some guys. They want to believe. And I said, uh, hope is a good thing, but you need to be analytical and learn from your past. Now, these guys, as I said, he had a red pill channel. What? He's in his 20s. What red pill advice? Like, what can he really teach men about life? Through his, He hasn't had any experience of women, but they get on their red pill. I, I, I didn't get that. So once again, these guys are faux red pill guys because... He never experienced things to truly get him there, to understand what it means to have that knowledge, to experience it firsthand. Same as Wheat Waffles, though, with his black pill stuff. You know, he's just a young kid who spits things out on the internet. And while the things might resonate with people, he feeds off that and makes a huge channel, right? But he's not experienced enough in life to be a black pilled guy, okay? I would talk to her about these kind of things and she just like would uh, basically rebuttal every single point that I'd make. And honestly, the more I discussed with her, I feel like the more this shit- One thing, okay, he, so he's saying he talked red pill to chicks. You never talk red pill to women. Of course they're gonna rebuff every single point because then they have to come face, face to face with the reality of their own behaviors and think about it. And of course they're gonna be in denial. They don't know that they red pill dudes. They don't know the things that they do. So if you're gonna, the, 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 the biggest folly that men try to do is try and give women advice and tips on dating or explain what it's like from the perspective of a man slash IE red pill um, experiences and talk to women about it and expect them to understand. They're gonna, they're gonna black and blue, don't try it. It is a fool's game, okay? Whenever I've done, I've done it in the past, you bring up something, they're gonna deny it, they're different. You only had one bad experience. Every woman's different. They're better. They're never going to do those things. They've never done those things. And they believe what they're saying. Sounds ridiculous because if you think about it, a lot of these like podcasts that are like the red pill stuff or even the guys who make the red pill type of content, so they're not like the most, what should I say? It's not like they're like stand-up guys, right? Honestly, I wouldn't say good humans, especially in like the dating sphere. I feel like a lot of the guys don't have good ethics. They uh, treat women as objects. They objectify women. And in general, they're just trying to monetize, right? Like you see Fresh and Fit, 
whatever podcasts, even a lot of the Asian dating coaches. I fully agree with what he's saying here, and that's why I created my channel. But I'm not trying to plug myself here. I'm just explaining that I do agree with that. That is like toxic red pill. That stuff is not going to help you. It's not going to get you anywhere. It's going to make you angry watching those podcasts, the uh, Fresh and Fit and stuff like that. Those guys are entertainment, okay? Guys watch them because they get off on them smashing chicks on their show. Like, you know, uh, kicking them out of the room and, and all that. Yeah, you get a bit of your own. They get the most scuzzy moles on their show. And then the, the dude kicks them out and yells at them and, um, you know, smashes them. And um, they're not smart enough to articul articulate an argument back. So, you know, they get one up because he's good at arguing with them. That to me is not red pill. That's entertainment. That's that's just toxic behavior. Okay. Is who film like pickup content, right? Inherently, pickup content is objectifying because people are just leveraging these interactions with girls to get views and make money, right? That that's like a huge reason I don't like making pickup content. And I actually did see a comment on the video talking about perhaps making more wholesome, like dating content or like talking about how to get into a healthy relationship or just live like a, I don't know, more ethical <laughs> dating life, right? And I actually like that idea stuff. It's yeah. like, they bring on the worst of the worst onto their podcast, like freaking OF girls. Not saying all OF girls I'm are- I'm just gonna fast forward him a bit. He's waffling on a bit. Bad, but like, you know, the OF girls they bring on are like awful. They bring on gold diggers, uneducated girls. And then they basically debate these girls where they already have prepared their arguments and then they blindside these girls. All right, I'm, I'm going to make a few closing remarks because he, he's, a, he's still a red pill creator apparently or a manosphere guy. I don't know what he does, okay? Actually, I want to, I want to go to one talking point because he has a tag here that says lack of experience fuels ignorance. Now, I want to see how if he's ignorant here, Okay. Because he's, just, he's not an experienced guy with women, but he's, he's making sweeping statements about uh, red pill uh, information, which is ignorant. Is A lot of this stuff results as a lack of experience. So you'll notice that, especially the black pill crowd, but even the red pill crowd, they Wrong. tend to be guys who don't have that many experiences with girls. Uh, they tend to be younger, and then they just generalize based off smaller sample size, right? So what I encourage you guys to do is... Okay, now listen to this guy. So. So this is a kid who's spitting out the red pill. He thinks he knows better. Um, nothing, no shade at this guy. But a lot of guys do this. They they find out some hard truths, and I don't want to believe that they apply to them, or or that they've been really on the receiving end of, of women's um, true nature. Okay, they want to spit that out. He, he, once again, he thinks he's had one or two girlfriends. He hasn't been married. He hasn't been divorced, great. He hasn't womanized. Okay, I can tell you now, like my channel comes. From a lifetime of experience being a monster hunter, being a womanizer, being in long-term relationships, being married, divorced, and through family cop. So yeah, this guy who's saying the young guys, even like himself, they should not be making this content because it adds no value and it and it spits hate. All right, guys, that's enough from me. Thank you for watching this far in. Cheers.